Till now in relation, I already discussed relation, its properties like reflexive, symmetric and transitive. N are relations. In today's lecture, I will discuss reprinting relations. Relation we can represent in two ways. One is matrix representation, another is diagraph representation. So today I will discuss reprinting relation using matrix. We can use the 0, 1 matrix for reprinting relation. If there is a relation, it will be 1, else it will be 0. So M i j equals to 1 if A i b j belongs to R and it will be 0 if it doesn't belongs to R. So the 0, 1 matrix representing R has a 1 if it's i j entry when A i is related to b j. So it will be 1 when A i is related to b j and it will be 0 when A i is not related to b j. If A is related to B, then it will be 1. If A is not related to B, it will be 0. Let's see one example. Suppose that A contain 1, 2, 3, B contain 1, 2. Let R be the relation from A to B containing A, B. If A belongs to A, B belongs to B and A greater than B. This is the condition. Now relation from A to B, 1, 1. Is 1 greater than 1? No. Then 2 1 is 2 greater than 1 yes then 3 1 is 3 greater than 1 yes next 1 2 this doesn't belongs to relation as 1 is less than 2 then 2 2 2 is not greater than 2 then 3 2 3 is greater than 2 so this belongs to relation so this relation will contain 2 1 3 1 and 3 2 now its matrix so we'll write 1, 2, 3 in left side and in top we'll write 1, 2. 1 to 1, 0. 1 to 2, 0 as it is not related. Then 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 0. 3, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1. So it will be 1 whenever there is a relation and 0 when there is no relation. This repenting matrix format also help us to find the properties like whether a relation is reflexive, whether it is symmetric or not. And for that, that matrix should be a square matrix. Square matrix means n cross n, means 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3. So this square matrix can be used to determine whether the relation has certain properties. A relation R on A is reflexive if A A belongs to R whenever A belongs to A. R is reflexive if all the diagonal element is 1. Suppose this is a square matrix let 3 cross 3 then all the diagonal element 1 other element can be 0 or 1 like here let 0 1 0 here let 1 0 0. So the relation is reflexive as this diagonal elements are 1. Other place can be anything. It can be 1 or 0. I already discussed details about reflexive. Just go through it. And one relation will be symmetric if AB belongs to R implies BA belongs to R. And in case of square matrix, if MIJ equals to MJI, then we can say it is symmetric. Or we can simply say if M of R equals to M of R, transpose if you remember what is transpose if one matrix is equivalent to a transpose then we can say the relation is symmetric next we can also check one relation is anti-symmetric or not what is anti-symmetric if a b belongs to r b a belongs to r then a must be equals to b else if a b belongs to r then b a should not be present I already discussed what is anti-symmetric, just to go through lecture. So in case of anti-symmetric, if m i j equals to 1, i not equals to j, then m j i equals to 0. Or you can say either m i j equals to 0 or m j i equals to 0 when i not equals to j. Now just see the matrix for reflexive, symmetric and anti-symmetric. For reflexive, all the diagonal elements should be 1. For symmetric m i j equals to 1, m j i should be 1. Or if m i j equals to 0, it should be 0. Means these two values should be same, then we can say it is symmetric. Next for anti-symmetric, if this is 0, 
then its transfer should be 1 or both can be 0 or if it is 1 then its transfer should be 0 means if m21 is 0 then m12 should be 1 or if m21 is 1 then m12 should be 0 or both can be 0 now an example one matrix is given we need to check whether it is reflexive symmetric or anti-symmetric all diagonal element are 1 so it is reflexive now here these two are same 1 1 these two are same 1 1 so we can say it is symmetric but it is not anti-symmetric so the matrix is reflexive symmetric but not anti-symmetric we can do binary operation over relation in the same way we can do binary operation over matrix so if m of r1 in an r2 equals to m of r1 or m of r2 and m of r1 intersection r2 equals to m of r1 intersection m of r2 let's see one example suppose that the relation r1 and r2 and a set a are represented by matrix these are the two relation we need to find r1 union r2 and r1 intersection r2 if the relations are in matrix format then also we can do union intersection even exo we can do all the binary operations now in case of union if 0 union 0 will be 0 rest it will be 1 so if any 1 is 1 it will be 1 now 1 union 1 it will be 1 then 0 union 0 it will be 0 then 1 union 1 1 1 union 0 1 0 union 1 1 0 union 1 1 now 0 union 1 1 1 union 0 1 0 union 0 0 next we will find intersection of these two matrix in case of intersection 1 intersection 1 will be 1 rest it will be 0 means 1 intersection 0 will be 0 0 intersection 1 will be 0 0 intersection 0 will be 0 so when both are 1 then only it will be 1 rest it will be 0 so 1 1 it will be 1 then here 1 1 then rest all will be 0 because one position is 0 other position is 1 so 1 and 0 or 0 and 1 will be 0 only 1 and 1 will be 1 with this i am finishing matrix representation of relation in next lecture i will discuss how can you represent relation by using diagraph if today lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you